Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and this is a video on slope fields. Slope fields, sketching the general solutions to a differential equation. Number one, draw the slope field for the differential equation at the indicated points. dy dx equals x squared. Well, if we were to solve this differential equation, dy dx equals x squared, what are we really doing? Well, this dy dx, of course, is another way of saying y prime, and y prime is just the derivative. So when you're solving a differential equation, what you're essentially doing is you're finding the antiderivative. And when you find the antiderivative, you might remember that you're going to get your answer, but then you're going to add on plus c. Now when you take an answer or a function and you add a constant c to the end of it, graphically that's going to move the graph of the original function either up or down. And for that reason we get this general solution which is a family of functions. So for example, let's say you find the antiderivative and you end up getting y equals x squared plus c. Well, we know that the function x squared is a parabola, but plus c means that that parabola could be moved up or down depending on what c is. So we get this parabola, but it might be a parabola that's shifted up or it could be shifted down. So we end up getting this, this idea of what's called a family of functions. So for the point of this lesson, we're not actually going to solve the differential equation. What we're going to do is we're going to draw the slope field. And to do that, we're going to look at each of these points that are indicated with crosshairs, and we're going to draw a little segment which represents the slope at that indicated point. So I'm going to start on the top right, and the first point that we see on the top right is 2, 3. Now if I plug these values into the derivative, I'm just going to get 2 squared, which is 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a segment that has an approximate slope of 4. So that's going to be a fairly steep segment. So a, a 45 degree line would be a slope of 1. So a slope of 4 might be something kind of steep, maybe, maybe like that. Now I'll go to my next point, which is going to be 2, 2. Now you'll notice there's nowhere to plug in for y. This is a very basic differential equation. So all I can plug in for is x. And when I plug 2 in again, of course, I'm going to get 4. So this is going to be another little segment with a slope of 4. And it should look parallel to this one. And that looks pretty good. In fact, if I take any point on this column here, it's, they're all going to have an x-coordinate of 2. So the next one will be 2, 1. There's nowhere to plug in for the y, only the x. And 2 squared is going to be 4 again. And that's going to be the same for any of these here. So I'm going to make these little parallel segments with slope 4. And oftentimes when you're drawing a slope field, there's a lot of patterns that can be found. So it wasn't necessary to make the xy chart for every single one of these. We kind of got the idea after doing a couple of them. Now let's move to the next column to the left. And you'll notice that all of these have an x-coordinate of 1. We start on top with 1, 3. And of course, the 3 really can be disregarded because there's nowhere to plug in for that. But if I square 1, I get 1. So let's draw a segment that has a slope of 1. Now this is going to be less steep than a slope of 4. So relative to this, this is going to be less steep. So maybe something like that. And our next point would be 1, 2. And 1 squared is 1. So all of the little segments that I'm going to draw here are going to have that same slope of 1 and they're all going to be parallel. So this, these two examples really helps us do that whole column of points. Now the next one is going to be all x's that begin with 0. <clears throat> I'll start at the top just to use that as an example. So we have 0, 3, and if I plug 0 in, I get 0 squared, which is 0. So a slope of 0 indicates horizontal. So all of these are going to be horizontal. And now I'll go to negative 1, 3. And if I square negative 1, I get 1. So we're back to 1 again. So this was 1, so I want it to look the same as that. And these are all going to be negative 1 squared, which is 1. And again, I'm using this idea that we have a pattern established, and I don't need to do the calculation over and over and over again. 
And this is going to be negative 2 squared, which is 4, so this is going to be steep like it was in the very, very far right column. Okay, so this is our first example of drawing a slope field. You're essentially going to take all the points on the graph, and you're going to make an XY chart for organization, and you're going to plug those points into the derivative. Let's try another example. Okay, so we're in example number two, where we're asked to draw the slope field for the differential equation dy dx equals negative x over 4y at the indicated points. And I've taken the liberty to set up these organizational tables which represent each of these points that we have. So let's start in the upper right and we will do the points that have an x value of 2. And I'm going to go ahead and plug those values into this differential um, equation or I'm going to plug them into the derivative. So I'm going to plug something in for x and I'm going to plug something in for y depending on what the ordered pair is. So I'll start by plugging in 2 for x getting me negative 2 in the numerator and then 4 times 2 or 8 in the denominator. So negative 2 over 8 which of course is negative 1 fourth. Continuing the pattern we're going to have negative 2 on the top and then this in the bottom we're going to have 4 which is negative a half and then we're going to have negative 2 over 0, which is undefined. And then we're going to have negative 2 over negative 4, which is positive 1 half. And then we're going to have negative 2 over uh, negative 8, which is going to be 1 fourth. And what I think I'm going to do for speed's sake is I'm going to do all the calculations first. And then I'll go back and actually draw the slope field when I'm done. So let's move to the next column where all the x values are 1. That's going to be this column right here. So we're going to have negative 1 over 8, which is already reduced. The next one's going to be negative 1 over 4. I think I'm just going to stagger these, otherwise it's kind of smushed. This will be undefined. This will be um, negative 1 over negative 4, which is really 1 fourth. And this will be negative 1 over negative 8, which is 1 eighth. Okay, now this particular column here, every x value is 0. And if 0 is in the numerator, it doesn't matter what the denominator is, 0 divided by something is going to be 0. So a slope of 0 is going to be a horizontal line, so I'll, I'll do those little segments right now. Now notice I didn't put anything right at the origin, because that's actually going to be 0 over 0, which is a bit of a weird case, so I'm just not going to put anything there. Now let's continue to the next row, or the next column, which would have x values of negative 1. So this is going to be positive 1 over 8, or 1 eighth, positive 1 over 4, or 1 fourth, positive 1 over 0, which is undefined, positive 1 over negative 4, which is negative 1 fourth, and then positive 1 over negative 8, which is negative 1 eighth. And we're almost done. I know this is a bit tedious, but these questions are always on the AP, and you've got to just learn how to, to cope with this. So now, for our last little cluster of problems, we're going to have 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. We're going to have 2 over 4, which is 1 half. 2 over 0, which is undefined. 2 over negative 4, which is negative 1 half and 2 over negative 8, which is negative 1 fourth. Good, so we've done all the calculations, and now let's go and actually draw the little segments which will represent or make up this slope field. Now it seems like the different responses I have are 1 fourth, 1 eighth, or 1 half. 1 eighth is the least steep of all, and then 1 fourth, and then 1 half. So let's start with 2, 2, where the slope is negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to make that one look like this. Now the next one's going to be negative one half, which will be a little bit steeper. And then we have undefined, and an undefined slope means vertical. Then we have positive one half. And then we have positive one fourth. So a half is steeper than a fourth, so you really you want to show that that, that change exists. Now for our next column, we've got negative 1 eighth. Now that's not going to be very steep at all. 
Then we've got negative 1 fourth. Now keep in mind, this one here was also negative a fourth, which is this guy. So those, those should actually be parallel. And then we go to undefined again. Now positive 1 fourth. Now keep in mind that this one was also positive a fourth. This last one we did was positive a fourth. And that should be the same as this one here. And then our last one's an eighth. And an eighth shouldn't be very steep at all. And we already did this one. And now we're going to move to this here. So that's going to be represented by these points. So we start with negative 1, 2, which is 1 eighth. Positive slope, but not very steep at all. Then we get 1 fourth. I think that might be too steep. I'm doing that again. And then we have undefined. Then we have negative a fourth. Negative an eighth. Negative an eighth. And now we'll go to our final cluster. We'll start with a fourth. Then we'll go to a half. Then we'll go to undefined. Then we'll go to negative a half. And then negative a fourth. So here is our second example of drawing slow fields. It's nothing too difficult, but it is, I would admit, a little bit tedious. So you want to look for patterns and you want to, you want to be fairly careful with your calculations because it's easy to screw up.